Oh, hi, Freddy. Good morning, buddy. Good morning. How are you today? Are you ready to get out in the cold? Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Today, I might be a little insane. <laughs> because today, it is... It's 522 in the AM right now. But as far as weather goes, right now, it is sitting at a whopping 25 degrees. But it's a 20 mile an hour south wind today, and it feels like 9 degrees. And your boy's gonna go do a solo snow goose hunt all by himself. Now, today I say snow goose hunt because that is the main species I'm after. We got a ton of snow geese in yesterday, and that's one bird that I have not downed this season. The snow goose. The infamous snow goose. If none of y'all have ever been snow goose hunting, uh, it's not always easy. But one thing that does make it a lot easier is wind. It's not really sun or cloudy days, wind. You need wind for snow geese. Wind helps for duck hunting, goose hunting, snow goose hunting, any type of bird hunting in general. Pigeon hunting helps a little bit with dove hunting. So today, uh, we got the snow geese in yesterday and uh, I called all my buddies. I called every single one of them. I'm like, bro, come on, let's go sit a little snow goose spread in the morning. Nah, sorry man, I'm busy, I'm busy. It is a weekday, I can't blame them, right? But I just can't help it. I gotta get out there. My goal today is to down one snow goose. That's all. If I can down 20, cool. Uh, but one snow goose. If I do have some, some Canada geese or some ducks do it, I'll probably shoot them. But my goal is to get down a snow goose today. But we got old Fred today. We're gonna put up the A-frame because today, like I said, it's windy and I wanna get out of the wind. I don't wanna be in a lay down blind or laying on my back in a white painter suit. None of that. I wanna get out of the wind. It's one good thing about an A-frame. It protects you from the elements. But today's video is sponsored by DucksWaterfowl.com. If you haven't checked out all their dope products, like this sweet wax hat, I will link this hat, I'll link all the thermal hoodies down in the description below, go check them out. There is something over there for everybody, let me tell you. But enough yapping, um, I got a ton of work to do. I don't know how many decoys I'm gonna get up today. I have no idea, um, I'm just gonna get up what I can. It might only be 10 dozen, it might be 20 dozen, who knows. Now, I think it's gonna warm up pretty quick. It says it's already 27 degrees out. The wind is holding steady right at 15 to 20 mile an hour which is perfect i hope the wind sticks around that's the main reason why i'm getting out for one we got a lot of snows and for two the wind 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 guys i always preach wind now today it's a south wind but we're going to be looking south so we're actually sitting up on a backwards, on a reverse wind. A lot of times you want the wind at your back so the birds come at you into the spread. Today, the only hide I have is with the wind in my face. So the birds are probably gonna want to get low behind me and come over the back of me to land. Let's hope it works that way, right? My alarm went off at four o'clock and, I, and I, I, I looked at the weather and it was cold, it was windy. My body said, stay in bed, but my brain said, Bob, you got to go. This is your only chance. These birds were only here for a couple months, you know what I mean? So, if you respect that, hit the thumbs up button for me. Let's get this video over 4,000 likes, but I can't stay in bed, y'all. We got snows here, you know? We did pigeon trapping, pigeon hunting, all the stuff we did all summer. I didn't have geese here. I didn't have ducks to shoot, you know what I mean? So. I'm not gonna waste a minute laying in bed, I'll tell you that right now. Woohoo! Well, we are out here finally. And let me tell you what, I worked my butt off. <laughs> I shouldn't have hit the snooze button when my alarm went off at four o'clock. I slept for another hour, I got up at 5 a.m. and shooting lights like 6.39, so it gave me like right at an hour to set up. It's cold, like I told you. It's been cold for the last three days, really, really cold. And this is all I was able to get up for a spread due to time, for one, but due to the ground being extremely hard. Now today I'm using all dive bomb decoys. I'm using white socks and Canada silhouettes. I think I have out one, two, three, four, about six dozen white socks and I could guess maybe about 
seven dozen silhouettes. So only about 15 dozen out. That's about it. Roughly 15 dozen. The ground's so hard. I, I wanted to get up 20, 25 dozen, but I couldn't believe how hard the ground was. But check it out. I did get up the A-frame by myself though. That wasn't fun. Well, here we go, boys. The birds are up. I just got done rearranging the spread a little bit. We don't have many decoys out again. Wish I was able to get up more, but you never know with this wind. You never know, it may not take much. That's a good boy, Fred. Good boy. Oh, they're coming, boys. They are coming. Here they are. Specs. I could have shot at them. We're gonna be choosy today, though. The specs and darks are here. Oh, God. <laughs> There's some snows. They're loving it. Look at these birds. Just eating it up. I should have shot those snows. Oh, oh, this is awesome. Look at them, they're landing out in front. Look at this, beautiful. Look, they're all landing out way out there, past the decoys. They're all landing right past the decoys. They're sitting out about 40 yards from me. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Holy smokes. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho. If you guys are liking this video, smash that thumbs up button for you, boy. This is wild. Ooh, there's some blues right here. I wish they'd get low. Doobies. This is what's really good is letting all these snow geese fly over. I can see if there's juvies, how many blues, how many rosses, how many adult snow geese. This is awesome. I'm being choosy today. Like I said, boys, I came for the show and I came for a snow goose. Oh, they all got up. That's all right. We're gonna see what they do now. I can't believe I haven't shot. I'm sure a lot of you are going, Bobby, why haven't you shot? It's all right. I hunt enough, guys. I'm here for the show. Now, honestly, I think it's better that I just let them come over me, you know what I mean? 20 yards above me, five foot above the blind. That was better than just shooting one goose and scaring them all off, but that's just the start of it. There are a ton more birds here. Here we go. Here's three behind us that are low. Where are you at? Yeah, they're going to pass to the right of us. <laughs> uh, every single solo hunt I have ever done this happens every time. I let the group come, the big group, the initial group, they do it on me, I watch them, I film them, and I don't shoot. Now, part of it, I don't really care. I'm glad I got it on camera. Them flying over the blind that low, and them landing out beyond the spread there. But I wish I would've shot one snow goose while I had the chance. Um, so now all the birds, they are piling into a field southwest of me and that field is just gonna keep growing. So we're gonna be lucky with our little 15 dozen spread if we can pull anything off of that, you know what I mean? Little side note, put it in the memory bank, take what shots you can get. Well, here come some birds coming to look at us here. See if they like it or not. I really wish I would've took those early shots when they came right over the blind because it is windy, the wind's picking up and uh, you gotta shoot them while they're close. Uh, sky busters today just ain't gonna work. I got in BB today, uh, big shot, 
for high wind you know what i'm saying if you have more wind you need to go to a bigger shot size so just gonna have to be picky hopefully we get down one white bird i'm still hoping <laughs> oh fred he's like dad what is wrong here usually we have down some birds what's going on i know buddy i know <laughs> uh but these solo hunts these are enjoyable um these are fun i know you guys like these solo hunts too so if you like them if you appreciate them if you want me to do more solo hunts even if we don't kill anything today i still have fun we still get to video some birds working we get to look at the birds we get to see what species how old see if there's any juvie snow geese that's what i was mainly concerned in today is finding out if and how many you know juvie snows we actually have in the area so i'm liking it i'm enjoying it here's a single single canada Let's see if we can get him dead bird first one down boys good boy fred heck yeah well we came for snow geese we got a we got a lesser down here fred dead bird here let's go he did it those are the shots that i want to take today guys i know that at the beginning of the day we had those shots and we didn't take them but it was a good show you know what i mean look at old frederick he's loving it here fred here fred here my bird mine drop checking for bands i always got to check him for bands boys but there we go first bird down good boy fred good boy bob <laughs> but honestly i'd rather take those shots than shoot into a flock you know what i mean by myself so all righty well this is good this is good if you guys like the video please like i'm saying please 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 smash that thumbs up button and while you're down there if you have any video suggestions that you want me to do drop a comment down below and let me know see just like that group they come and look at it real hard and it seems like if i call just once or twice they'll get interested if i call more than that they'll start to just not get interested at all it's a really small kind of odd spread i put the white decoys out because of the snow geese in the area a lot have moved in like i said and with a small spread those white decoys they can see them from farther away so you get away with a smaller spread you know what i mean that's my tactic today i don't know if it's going to work any better than it has already but he did there we go number two dead bird fred well just like the last bird same identical thing like i said when i was sitting up got the wind in the face here fred uh they're gonna be decoying from the back that's what the two birds that i've shot have done decoyed from the back i like it i'm liking it man here fred here come on heel heel my bird there we go canada goose number two check for bands no bands how epic would that be oh goodness oh goodness i can't see how low they are Let's see if we can get something out of this group bread well here comes another group Let's see if they want to get low <laughs> fred we got some low geese coming <laughs> Well, I got an idea, Fred. Go, go on. Oh, I closed up the end of the blind. I always got to crawl in and out. I want to make sure me and Fred are hid good. I got an idea. Uh, this really isn't working all that well. Um, we still got a lot of birds that are going to go over us on their way back to water. So I'm going to change up the spread. As you can see, I got it real spread out. I'm going to take all the white and I'm going to put it all in one ball. You hungry, buddy? Yeah snacks as usual just the usual the old pretzels you want some we need to bring you some dog treats don't we fred i know i know there you go Ooh, is that good oh yeah fred absolutely loves his pretzels don't you 
Woo, it's windy out here. We got her all picked up though. All 15 dozen decoys. They're loaded up in the old wagon. Here's a trailer. I haven't showed you the inside of it for a while. Got two A-frames here. And then behind it, we got a panel blind. And then behind it, we got all the snow goose decoys over there. Lay down blinds over here. All the evergreens to haul around for the A-frames. And then underneath all that, that is the Canada Silhouettes. But it's pretty full. The old trailer is getting some use. Look at her. And look at old Frederick, just loving life, aren't you, bud? He says, I like the trailer, Dad. You a good boy. Yeah, you did good today, buddy. But we had the A-frame right here. And now as I was walking back, I was looking, I was like, man, that sticks out like a sore thumb. And this morning, we landed literally two to 400 birds out on the far side of the spread, like you all seen. That early, early, early AM, man, they, the birds, they gave it up, like always, you know? I seen some juvies, which is good. I seen some juvie snow geese. I should have shot at least one snow goose, but I enjoyed the show and I hope you guys did too. Sometimes it's worth it just to kick back, watch the show because that first shot, everything's gonna be gone, you know what I mean? So if you like that and you appreciate it, hit the thumbs up button like I've been saying. Let's get this video going, y'all. If we hit 5,000 likes on this video, I will pick the most requested video to do that y'all put down in the comment section below on this video. I will pick it and I will do it. 5,000 likes, y'all. But a couple things. I want to give you guys some tips before we get out of here. When it's real windy like this, you got to use a big shot. I used BB today, three inch. Federal Speed Shock BB. Second of all, cover your ears. You need to cover your ears. If I wouldn't have had a beanie and a hoodie on today, I would have been a hurting unit. And if you have the option to get out of the wind like that A-frame, just do it. You know what I mean? It's better being safe than sorry. Because if I would have laid out in this field this morning, I would have been a cold hurting unit. Let me tell you what. But this was a little traffic hunt. I seen like 200 birds in this field yesterday. But if y'all couldn't tell, across the road, that's where literally thousands upon thousands of birds have been feeding. So, traffic hunts, I hope you like them. I hope you like the solo hunt. I hope you're enjoying old Frederick learning. I love these solo hunts, and I know you guys do too. That's why I do them. But you guys need to subscribe if you haven't, because I'm coming at you guys with videos all season long. The season is here. I finally got birds at home. I'm not leaving. I'm hunting them. Turn on that little notification bell down there. It notifies you when I upload. And if you want to pick up the wax hat, the beanie, the thermal hoodie, any of the cold gear thermal products from Ducks, I will link them all down in the description below. But I appreciate you all being here. Until next time. Peace.